So Barack Obama, the former president of the United States, I'm saying this to you. I know somehow someday this video may get to you. I'm saying this. If you have to talk, if you want to talk about Nigeria, if you want... ...of South Africa, ignore President Tinubuing, the presidential inauguration in South Africa. Why was Tinubu placed behind smaller African leaders? This is a disgrace to the biggest black nation in the world. It's un being relegated to a lesser position during such an important event is a clear indication that Nigeria needs to reassess its diplomatic standing and take concrete steps to improve its global image. This is a disgrace to the biggest black nation. Nigeria must rise and elect responsible leadership to reclaim its rightful place on the global stage. Tinubu was left without even a handshake and could be seen clapping his hands, seemingly reacting to this high-level snub. He should serve as a wake-up call for all Nigerians. It's time to take decisive action, elect leaders who can represent the country effectively, and reclaim Nigeria's rightful place as a leader among nations. It's crucial for the country to demonstrate strong leadership, to earn respect from other nations, and also to ensure that its citizens are proud of their nation's standing. Nigeria has a responsibility to command respect on the international stage. Yeah, that's how Barack Obama, the former president of the United States, that's how he reacted when he saw how Tinubu was placed at the back seat when, uh, during that uh, inauguration in South Africa. You know, I have a few problems with this and I will explain all of them. One is that I know, according to the way our leaders, the type of leaders we have in Africa, I so much believe that that particular attitude towards Tinubu, the president of Nigeria, did not come out from their mind. It must be an inspiration from one of these uh, Western countries because, you know, most of all their actions, they are being controlled by people from the, the, that uh, Western part of uh, the world. You know, so I so much believe that that attitude is not something that came out from their own mind. They did not decide to do something like that to the president of Nigeria, knowing fully well that it's, it's a kind of very, very um, stupid, very, very crazy for a pot to come out and point at a kettle and say that the kettle is black. You know, I have not heard any of these presidents. I have not heard of any of these African presidents that have put everything they are supposed to have in their country in place that maybe uh, must have put the uh, person ahead of uh, other presidents in Africa that warrant them to act like that towards uh, the Tenubu, the president of Nigeria. You know, that's one. Another thing I want to say is that of all the problems that Nigeria have, of all the issues, all the insecurity, all the whatever thing going on, issue of Mazenam the Kano, issue of everything, this is the only thing that Barack Obama, a whole Barack Obama, the former president of the United States, this is the only thing he re he's reacting to. Imagine saying that it is a disgrace to Nigeria while we have issues that need international assistance. You know, though we don't even need anybody to come and assist us in doing anything. It is something we can handle. But that is when we have leaders that, that are ready to think for themselves, to think and act as in for themselves, not to wait for anybody to come and direct them on what to do. He was saying uh, to, to command respect on, on, as an international stage. What is the big deal about international stage? What is the big deal? That is, uh, all these things are just hypocrisy because you see people, most of all these leaders come out with their uh, big dressing, Agbada, whatever thing, come out to showcase, as in to show whatever thing on that, on that uh, particular international stage. Why their people are dying of hunger? A lot of people are dying of different issues in their country. Most of all these African leaders that were acting like that towards Tinubu, most of them do not have whatever type of hospital they can boast of. A lot of them goes to all these Western countries for uh, in kind of uh, medical treatment. They do not have any of most of all these needed things in the country. So what, what is the thing that placed them ahead or hired, made them, okay, maybe just uh, because of the way Tinubu got to that office as the president, because it was a kind of, uh, you know now, but I don't, to me, I don't see any reason. If it is not an inspiration from the Western part of uh, the world, or as in, because I know how they control most of all these African leaders, if it is not an inspiration, that is very, very, very uh, stupid to me. It's a very stupid action for a port to come out and point at a kettle and say that that kettle is black. You know? Because I know we don't have, an, apart from what is going on in a, um, a book, uh, this uh, particular. Uh, in Rwanda, apart from what is going on in Rwanda, there is nowhere, nowhere in Africa you can come out and boast of uh, 
full time development. You know, there is nowhere in Africa. So I don't see anything, I don't see any big deal in those presidents ignoring Tinubu, placing him at the back of the seat. All of them are the same thing. They are all the same thing. No one, none of them is different. You know, so Barack Obama, the former president of the United States, I'm saying this to you. I know somehow someday this video may get to you. I'm saying this if you have to talk, if you want to talk about Nigeria, if you want to address, we have so many issues that need smart mind to address. We have so many issues in Nigeria that needs smart mind to address. You know, so these are the, the areas where we, we need people to come in because of the type of leaders we have. We need people to assist. Don't forget the fact that I've been searching to find a video where you, Barack Obama, talked about the type of election we had in Nigeria in 2023, how the, Tinubu, the same Tinubu you are talking about that it was ignored in South Africa, that it was snubbed in South Africa, how he got to the office. I have not, I've been searching for a video where maybe you condemned that process, but I've not said I couldn't find it. I've been asking people, but nobody has it. You know, but maybe I maybe I did, maybe you did, but I did not find it. But if you didn't, these are areas where we need issue, where we need people, we need smart mind to talk about them. You know, the issue of Mazen Namdekano that is here as an that has been held in the DSS custody illegitimately. You know, after being uh, um, after being set free from the court and uh, so many other bodies, but is still being held in the DSS custody. These are areas where we need smart mind to talk not uh, about a uh, commanding respect on international stage. What is the big deal about the international stage? Most of all those people you see that maybe you think they are commanding respect, a lot of people are dying of hunger in their places, in their countries. Believe you me, you know? Why, that is just uh, one of the reasons why I just saw this and uh, I kind of, um, I, I felt somehow, you know, because all these people, you could, there, there is no reason for a pot to come out and say that the kettle is black. They're all the same thing. They all do the same job which is uh, going to the, uh, the, the fire. <laughs> I don't know if you're getting this. So in case this video get to you, Barack Obama, the former president of the United States, we have issues that need smart mind to talk about them. Not uh, these things that, is, that went on in South Africa or whatever thing. That's not where we need people to talk about. If I were to be the president, I can even go to such an event with uh, bedroom slippers. I don't care. Whatever thing you talk is your business. You know, placing him at the back of the seat is not whatever thing. What we need is internal development. Work on the people you are managing. Work on the people you are governing. Do things better for them, not to come out and showcase that you are big at the international uh, uh, stage, but your country is nothing. You know, I do not want to say much about this. I just saw this and uh, it felt somehow, so I kind of uh, needed to say something about this. You know, thank you so much. And um, I still remain your man, Morris Ngozgobokoro Omanita. Do have a wonderful day. Thank you.